Good day, everyone. It seems that today is my last engagement as OIC legal officer of the extra large division of Camarines Sur because uh, a new lawyer will be occupying the office, the item, and I will be returning back to the office where I belong. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank, of course, the superintendency of the Schools Division Office of Camarini Sur, headed by our highly esteemed uh, Madam Loida Enidea, for the trust and confidence reposed upon me as OIC Legal Officer. And, of course, to the three assistants of Schools Division Superintendents, uh, Ma'am Susan Culliano, Ma'am Kekel Ferro, and Ma'am Lynn uh, Padillo, for the support during my stint as OIC legal officer. I never promised to give you the stars, the moon, and the sky, but I did what I believe is best for the school's division office of Camarini Sur. And I will not be bidding goodbye, but I will be just returning to the office where I, I have my item as education program supervisor and at the same time the LR manager. So, you are always welcome to the office and uh, you can always see me in the schools division office of Gamarini Sur and of course I already have the time to uh, roam around to go to the districts where I am assigned as area supervisor and of course to uh, go to schools assess as to the uh, implementation of the curriculum in ICT. So, my dear fellow school heads, newly designated, newly appointed school heads, I would like to share with you Regional Memorandum Number 212, Series of 2018, entitled Uniformity and Synchronization of Submission of Incident Reports. This is very important, very timely and fitting because as new school head, newly appointed and designated school heads, you are the leader in the school and therefore whatever happened to the school will always be returned to you. Whether it's a success, a failure or both, it will always be attributed to you as the school leader. So therefore, I would like to give you a caution that as a school head, we must be and you must always be have that armor, have the protection because at the end of the day, it will be always at your charge. So this um, incident report, uniformity and synchronization of submission of incident report has been crafted in order for the schools and for the school heads to have a glimpse of what are the things to do, what are the needed reports to be submitted for any happening or any untoward incident that happened in your school, it has to be reported so that a proper action, recommendation, or anything that you'd like the higher ups to do will be cascaded to you. So there are only few slides that I will be uh, presenting, but these are very important that you need to understand, that you need to uh, Think about because this will always be your partner in times of incidents in your school. So in the slides that I am presenting, you can see in the first column, it's entitled nature of the incident. In the second column, personnel in charge for the preparation of the report. And then on the third, action to be taken. And on the fourth time, a person in charge to receive the incident report and other attachments. As you can see, under the nature of the incident, we have the child protection issues. And this includes crimes or prohibited acts committed by the learners. We have the order number 40, a series of 20 12, and that is our Deaf and Child Protection Policy. Anything untoward happened there between and among the students must be reported to the division office, up to the regional office. But I should have cautioned you, before filling up the incident report, review the 
DepEd Order Number 40 on Child Protection Policy because you are filling up the incident report. Then later on, you found out after you have submitted the incident report that it could have been acted upon within the school, within the le level of the school. So need that be forwarded to us. So be very careful. While we have the incident report form, it is not a form for everything that happened to the school will be reported to us. You have to be cautious enough by, of course, referring back to the order, to the DepEd order number 40. And what are the things that you are going to submit as part of your report for the Department of Education? Well, the person in charge for the preparation of this report is the guidance counselor. And of course, it will be noted by the or prepared by the guidance counselor and the school head. So, my dear newly designated, duly appointed school heads, kayo po ang tinutukoy dito. Then, action to be taken. So, this is the things that you are going to do if it is about child protection issues. Prepare the incident report form and annexes appendices provided by DO40 series of 2012 and of course by DepEd Order 18 series of 2015 for children at risk. Then the time person in charge to receive the incident report and other attachments. If child abuse within 48 hours, within 48 hours if child abuse, so refer to DepEd Order 40. If bullying case immediately so no need to wait for 48 hours, need to report immediately. If children at risk, CAR, and children in conflict with the law, also the report should be submitted immediately. Child protection focal person ang sasubmitan ng report in the SDO. Pwede rin yung uh, copy furnished then ang DIO, the Division Information Officer and the legal at and it will be forwarded to the regional office through the office of the regional information officer and the legal officer now to ensure that incident reports are promptly acted upon by the concerned deputy personnel this office, for uniformity purposes, enumerates the following guidelines. So please take note, my dear uh, fellow school heads, newly appointed designated school heads, the following things to understand about incident reports. So for file, for file, the personnel in charge for the preparation of the report property custodian and school head so the school head is always present is always uh signing so you cannot say that you do not know anything if it is forwarded to us because that will not be accepted unless you sign it as a school head then action to be taken prepare the incident report form time person in charge to receive the incident report and other attachment so immediately report to SDO through the DIO, the Division Information Officer, then the DIO to RO through the Regional Information Officer. By the way, may I caution you, the Commission on Audit is also um, requiring reports on fire, especially that uh, there will be loss of property. So within 30 days, Oh, not 30 days. The 30 days is the completion of the reports for the Commission on Audit. Immediately report also to the Commission on Audit for the relief of accountability. Because if uh, you will not report to the Office of the Commission on Audit, you will not be relieved from accountability, although it is not within your fault. Uh, for theft, and there are also reports of uh, theft in the school, like um, a laptop issued to the school uh, was the subject of a thievery or uh, other properties issued to the school or bought through the usual MOOE was also lost, then 
the property custodian and the school head will be the personal in charge for the preparation of the incident report for theft. And then the action to be taken is to prepare the incident report form. Then the time and the person in charge to receive the incident report and other attachment report it immediately to the SD or through the office of the DIO, then to RO through the regional information officer. Now, if there is also robbery, the same as that of the theft, you are going also to prepare the incident report form, which you are going to submit immediately to the division office, and then the division office will forward the same to the regional office. Another uh, nature of the incident, for example, if there is death in the school, within the school or outside of the school, if it happened during a legitimate school activity. Now, if the death is uh, natural without the intervention of the school, it did not happen in the school, it happened in the um, family home, then uh, it, it's not a part of the usual activity sponsored or conducted by the school, then the school head is not required to report. However, if it is within the school or outside of the school but happened during a school-sponsored activity, then the school head will prepare the report. So the action to be taken is prepare the incident report and then submit it immediately to the SDO, to the Office of the Division Information Officer, then to RO, the DIO will report to RO through the Regional Information Officer and the Legal Office. Another thing, another nature of the incident, physical injuries. If there are physical cases of physical injuries in your school, other than, of course, the usual uh, result of bullying or child abuse, as I previously discussed to you, the school head will be the in charge of the preparation of the incident report. So, action to be taken, prepare the incident report form, then it will be immediately submitted to the, the SDO through the DIO, then to RO, through the RIO and the legal office. Because um, if you could uh, see in our in my presentation, there are some reports which need to be furnished the office of the legal section of the legal unit because there are cases that has to be addressed legally other than the usual reporting scenario. So if it has to be reported to the legal office, then the implications is it could have um, arose a case or a case would have uh, filed against the perpetrator. So the legal office need to be informed. Claim for school sites. One of the many things that you need to uh, secure in the school is, of course, the school sites. But again, since we are a public school under the existing laws, we cannot just be evicted because of the public school. We have that uh, personality, the government personality is always there. How can you throw the government? with whom you are owning, owing all the, uh, the resources. So it's very difficult to eject a public school. However, there are so many cases of land disputes because of the territorial boundary. They are not actually claiming the whole school, but at least a one meter boundary dispute among and between the schools uh, and its uh, neighboring lands now. As a school head, ay makipagbugtian. Una, bako man sa imo ang daga. However, as a school head, as manager, administrative manager, part of protecting our property is, of course, ensuring that the land, the school side, is secure. That's why those schools with abundant MOOE, 
you can enclose the property property by fencing it there is an adage that uh, a strong fence makes good neighbors so you can have that so in order for you to have a peaceful uh, leadership in the school you can enclose the property by fencing it permanently or if you have that guts to solicit from stakeholders like what happened to the school where i was assigned a stakeholder enclosed the school property with fence so i'm very happy and thankful to that stakeholder of ours because before i left the school for division office function uh, uh it was enclosed up uh, permanently the whole property so if there are claims in the school for uh, claims against the school side just prepare the incident report as i was telling you a while ago hindi mo ibubuwis ang buhay diyan gagawa ka lang ng incident report and let the legal processes and let the legal minds of the legal people do the action because we will be uh, referring that to appropriate office and usually to the office of the solicitor general for uh, proper adjudication of land disputes involving school sites we have plenty actually uh, in my almost two years a stint in uh, uh, in the schools division legal office there are so many cases about that uh, and i do believe school heads do transfer after three years five years you move from your station and then a new school head is installed the best thing that you always do is if there is any dispute in the claim I, against the school site report it to us through the submission and preparation of the school incident report where are you going to submit that immediately to the school's division office through the dio then the dio will forward it to the regional office uh, through the office of the rio and the legal office another incident intrusion within the school premises by strangers um, there are central schools which have uh, intrusions from private persons strangers who are claiming to be the rightful owner that they have the claim over the property so again i i cautioned you they makipagbuktian as a school head, you need to prepare the incident report form, then submit it immediately to the school's division office. And then the DIO to the RO, then RIO to and legal. Another incident, sudden collapse of school buildings. Sudden collapse. Especially if there are, well, we do not uh, pray to happen, but if there are buildings dilapidated buildings in your premises i suggest you request for the demolition of that building immediately through the office of the supply officer because if anything happened to that building if it suddenly collapsed and then it uh kill anyone in the school which we do not want to happen that's another risk that you have to take so request for demolition of that dilapidated buildings and then uh, also if no building officials yet visiting that dilapidated building then have it cordon that nobody will enter the perimeter the premises because you have already cordoned it for safety precaution but if ever that things happen, a sudden collapse of school buildings for natural or uh, man-made causes, then the property custodian and school head will be the in-charge personnel for the preparation of the report. Then they have to fill up the incident report and immediately submit it to the SDO uh, through the DIO to RO through the RIO. 
to the RIO. Next, gambling inside the school premises. I do not know if there is any, but if there is any case of gambling inside the school premises, then the guidance counselor and the school head are the ones in charge for the preparation of the incident report to be submitted immediately to the division office and then to the regional office um, through the RIO and the legal office. So these are uh, reports. There are reports if there are any re there is any report of gambling. But if there is uh, children gambling in the school, like uh, Kara Ikru, sometimes there are children doing that. Well, it's up to the school. The school head kindly uh, call the attention of the parents and then to the guidance counselor have a meeting for them to be enlightened that those are not allowed in the school premises. But if it is an outsider, then the more that you have to uh, report because there are um, implications, social implications to that effect. Another uh, nature of the incident, proliferation of illegal drugs. Not just a uh, proliferation of illegal drugs, but of course, in the actual use of drugs. Because that will be another thing to do for the school head. The guidance counselor will prepare the report if there is any. And then... After that, the school head will submit it to the to the division office, and then the division office will do the submission to the regional office. Next, violation of no collection policy. I was listening intently to the lecture of Ma'am uh, Susan Colliano, our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, yesterday. And uh, again, there are so many problems arising in the school. My dear uh, newly designated and appointed school heads arising from the violation of DepEd Order Number 54, Series of uh, 2009 on the PTA and usually it arises from the issues on the no collection and uh, there is a collection but it's the school head or the school who is actually managing it. So again and again, may I remind you to please uh, go back to DepEd Order number 54 on the PTA. But, uh, it, it, this, it doesn't mean that the PTA is more powerful in the school, but you need, again, as a good leader, you need to engage the stakeholders in the operation of the school, but you have to be very careful also on how to handle them. In cases there are reports of violation of the no collection policy, a school head will prepare the report to be submitted immediately to the SDO, then to RO. Another incident, armed conflict, because we have schools um, located in the far-flung area, for example, who are uh, torn between two lovers and to the point that there are armed conflicts. Government side, anti-government, etc., the school head and the school DRRM coordinator will prepare the report. You will prepare the incident report, then submit it immediately to the DO because um, it's traumatic, sometimes traumatic to the teachers and also to the uh, learners. We have requests before, uh, 
I think three schools who have uh, this uh, armed conflict, one in Rinconada, two in Partido, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, the school head of the schools requested for psychosocial intervention from our uh, medical section. So they, they, they give a debriefing to the learners and to the teachers. And that's the importance of uh, submitting the incident report because your recommendation will be captured through the incident report. Then we also have other analogous incidents of the foregoing. When we say analogous, similar, and that uh, you, you as a school head, you have that discernment that the same should be reported to the higher ups then you report it using again the incident report but again as i was uh reminding you there is this uh school head who keeps on uh reporting well that's that's good however there was a report like somebody inserted a broom a, br a stick a broomstick in the padlock in the keys of the classroom nilaganan nin mga bamboo sticks yun naman ay pwede nang aksyonan sa school hindi na yun kailangan na uh, a report Although may, may na-capture naman ako kasi sinasabi doon, one of the recommendations of the school head is that to hire a security guard. Well, that is good. But again, if you are hiring a security guard, see to it that it is within the limit of your school MOOE and that you have enough fund to maintain a security guard or uh, a security guard in your school. When you recommend, you have also to consider those because uh, personnel, additional personnel in the school entails also additional uh, cash allocation. The incident report form should be properly accomplished and signed by the designated authorized personnel and preferably endorsed by the school's division superintendent. It should also be sent by the SDOs to the online incident report system using the link. So it's the SDO, not the school. So the school should report to the SDO. HTTP deped.in.rovirs and or via courier within the specified time required. So if in the incident report that I have presented to you, the report has to be submitted immediately. Then uh, inform us, even if it's not yet in the informal, in the formal incident report form, because sometimes the media captured the report earlier than us. So we are caught um, off guard because we do not have the information yet. And yet it's already proliferating in the social media, in the different social media platforms, or it has already been captured by our local news uh, reporters. So please, if it is immediate, inform us immediately in any way, cell phone, uh, messenger, Viber, connect to proper authorities so that it will be uh, Ahead of time, we can also prepare our own uh, report for that so that the regional office and they are already uh, being asked by some media practitioners. We also have the information coming from the field. This office is adapting the format of incident report prepared by DepEd Division of Sorsogon Province, which is um, already uploaded in the DepEd Gamsur website. 
at www.depedcancer.com you can see there the incident report form for your um, perusal so initial report or situation reports set trip sometimes also referred to as advanced information for FYI, for your information purposes, should be relayed, as I was telling you a while ago. Even uh, through SMS or through the Messenger app, using the prescribed template within an hour, upon discovering the incident, if it will take a while in preparing the formal incident report, the initial report shall be forwarded to the Regional Information Officer or the Public Affairs Unit with verified information use giving a clear picture of what who when where why and how of a situation or an incident so that will be for the immediate report that has to be taken into consideration by the school help so this is for why determination and strict compliance so i hope our newly designated uh, school heads capture this report properly and I will be sharing this uh, slide so that whenever you have the incident inside the school you have to report it to us immediately so that's all thank you very much and again I would like to thank the whole of the schools division office of Camarini Sur for the privilege, opportunities afforded to me, and for the things that uh, I have might have short uh, coming, my sorry, my apology, and of course, I would like to be of help to anyone should there be um, any. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, and more power to everyone.